So here's another bomb jump that you can get across just like I showed you where the green sword is. You can use it on the opposite side as well. Um, you can bomb jump from right off this rock where the green ping is. Which he failed miserably. But it's right here. Um, there you go. Uh, that's the way to get across there up to these. Um, you can also jump around the gate this way. So if the gate is actually spawned in you can do that. Um, none of these jumps right here do you have to use the ghost weapon glitch on. So we'll carry on to the next jump. So right here, if you hate platforming, you can stick your dot on this big white water mark that's right here where I'm at. You throw it, and you can just land on it, or you can ghost weapon glitch. Either way, they work. The ghost weapon glitch is holding R1 and spamming a ghost weapon. So like square or triangle, it will stand you up on the bomb. You'll see that here in a second, and you can get over to these attuned swords. Here's how you skip the platforming. If people cannot platform here at the Gorgeous Shadows, you shoot this a couple times. You want to get out to the third platform. On that third platform, you're going to throw your bomb at this obelisk looking thing. Um, when you throw this bomb, make sure you jump to the left and not straight at it. If you jump straight at it, you're going to go straight down. If you go off the blast itself, as you'll see in the video, you actually can jump to the other side. Once everyone's across, you'll get a colored sword. Once that sword is actually attached to them, without them picking it up, you can die and you'll spawn over here. So here's the bomb jumps when you get to the crystals. In order to get to the crystals, here you go. So the first one's going to be in the shadow against the back rock. You just This is not a ghost weapon glitch. You just have to land on the blast itself to shoot yourself up. You'll then run backwards through the maze, get to the crystal. Then they can drop the crystal outside. You'll already be on the other side of the door. Have a wonderful day. So this is how you skip through the door without uh, cutting it. If you do not cut the door, the Oni do not spawn in. So this also helps your teammates. First, got to get this crystal to stay, which I had a hard time in this video, which sometimes it's effective the first time, sometimes it's not. But this rock that's right up above me, you're going to want to set it up there. It will stay eventually or the first time occasionally. But you set it on top of this rock here. Then you're going to want to emote through between the candle and the door. So you're going to emote after I get this crystal to stand up. Let's, let's practice this crystal thing right now. So I don't exactly know how to explain it. Just set it on the top rock. If it stays, it stays. If it don't, it don't. Um, you're going to have to just keep picking it up till it is put there. So... We'll get on with this and hopefully get on to the next couple videos in a timely manner. So what you want to do after you emote right between these two things is you're going to want to jump. Uh, after you've gotten through it, 
which takes me a couple tries this time. You're going to want to turn around, look down, so the crystal says carry, and then pick it up. If not, just jump back through it and go get the crystal if it respawns when you are practicing this. As you see, I'll pick it up to set, reset the idle time of being dropped, and then I'll carry on. And I will turn around and look through the door to pick it up, as you'll see in the video. This is the fourth crystal, the last crystal. You're going to want to actually come up to here. You're going to want to throw your black powder bomb, land on it. And when you land on it, but before you land on it, you're going to want to spam the ghost weapon glitch, right? So you're going to want to do that. Uh, essentially move your, your joystick to the left after you've hit the bomb jump. And turn your camera to land on the stairs. That's the ideal spot. Because it will stop you on the stairs. However, on either side it's going to create a slight effect, right? So like this. Well, then you're going to want to jump down on the other side, which is going to create the slide effect. That slide effect will drop you right in the right place. So... You can wait up here for the next crystal. So this video is simple. It has nothing to do with anything. You just run and jump. You just grab onto this and get on top of the archway. And it is a really good place to take a picture. It doesn't do effect. It effectively doesn't do nothing in the game. It has nothing to do with anything. It's just a good place for a picture. Okay, so over here, we're going to run over to the second crystal in the next video. So over here, you're going to want to hold the block button. Lock yourself into the corner. Your guy will essentially not move when you're in the right place. So right here, lock yourself in. You want to take your bomb pack. Do not change your guy's angle. Just look up to the right with the bomb pack once you're in here. Uh, and you want to grab onto this cliff. You want to jump up there from right here without moving. Just jump and push up. You should grab on. Sometimes it takes a few times, but once you've gotten it, you've gotten it. So the next bomb jump up to is you look over this edge. You see this little area. It's a rock down here, okay? You want to see the little red on the rock. You want to throw it at the corner. And you want to spam the ghost we weapon glitch and pull backwards. If pull backwards to turn your camera and you should land anywhere up there. As long as you are aiming for it. 
But make sure you are standing up on most of these bomb jumps because you will fail them if you are not. Right. Thank you. Subscribe, like, have a wonderful day.